Hello, everybody. My name is Emmanuel Jakob, and I'm working with Francisco Burgess on how to install a Dempier on a Windows 10 device. So to install Dempier, it comes with a few different programs that you have to install as well. We're going to start off just by showing you where and how to download a Dempier. Uh, we have to download Postgres SQL as well, as well as Java JDK, the Java Development Kit 1.6. Currently, there's up to 1.8 available. If you want to download, make sure we download 1.6. It's more compatible with the Dempier. As well as Eclipse Galileo. Again, there is a later version available, but we want to download Galileo. That's the one that's going to give us the compatibility with the Dempier. As well as Tortoise SVN. Um, and then we'll go through how to modify your environment variables to create paths for all of these things that we just downloaded. So let's start with where to download the Dempier. So download a Dempier. You can grab it from sourceforge.net slash project slash Dempier. Click download now. And once it downloads, you can grab it. So let's check my downloads folder right here. Dempier comes as a zip file. You want to run this and then uh, you can unzip it. And all of these files right here that downloaded with the Dempier, I would recommend you copy this whole folder right here and drop it on your C drive. So create another folder, a Dempierre, and drop it right in here. All right, that's what I'd recommend. So go ahead and do that, okay? And after installing a Dempierre, <clears throat> you can install Postgres SQL. This is just off their website, postgressql.org slash download. You wanna download the one that's for your operating system. I have a Windows device, and you click download the installer for enterprise here. You go ahead and choose the one. Now, these are the latest one. 952 is the latest one, and I download because I have a 64 bit system. To verify what kind of system you have for Windows 10, you right click your start menu, you go to system, and you'll have to go here a little bit later for something else. And you can see right here, I've got a 64 bit system. Um, and you also want to note your computer name as well. That's going to be important for a little bit later. All right, so after we've downloaded Postgres, we can go ahead and then grab Java JDK. Uh, what I've done is I can just Google Java JDK uh, 1.6 downloads. It'll grab me to this site uh, with here. Obviously, I want to use the latest version of it, of the 1.6. So I did that. I'm going to accept. And then, again, I use a 64-bit Windows system. So I go ahead and click this download. It'll download for me. Now with these installers, I'm not going to run through them right now, but these installers just run through, leave all the default settings in there. If you can change one thing about this default setting where it saves, have it save under your program files slash Java. Create a, if it doesn't already by default, have it save under Java. <clears throat> Next, you want to download uh, Tortoise SVM. You can grab that just from the tortoisesvm.net website. Click Downloads, and then again, a 32-bit operating system or a 64-bit operating system. You click that, you download, and you run the installer as well. And last but not least, uh, you want to download Eclipse. Now, this is the Eclipse Mars, but you want to download Eclipse Galileo. If you go to eclipse.org, or if you just Google it, Eclipse Galileo download, you can grab it from here. You can hit download now, and it'll download for you. All right? After you've installed all of these, and you've gone ahead, so you've installed a Dempier. You've uh, moved that folder over to the C drive. You've installed Postgres SQL. You've run through the installer. One thing with Postgres SQL, when it asks you to run the stack builder, you do not want to run the stack builder just yet. So it's one of the last things that happens. to ask you to install the stack builder. Do not run that. But otherwise, keep all, this, all the settings by default. And then you want to run Java JDK 1.6, install that, and close Galileo towards SVN. So then what you want to do now is you want to modify the environment variables. Now to modify the environment variables, if you go to the search bar on the bottom, and you want to modify the system environment variables. So let's go ahead and click that. And what you'll see, you'll see environment variables here. We'll click that. All right, so what we've got, we want to uh, modify the system variables themselves. So we want to add three of them 
to this. We're not going to mess with the user variables. We're going to modify the system variables. So we want to create three of them. So we can click new, our variable name for first one. And I've already done this, so I'll go ahead and go to this other one right here. Our name is going to be a Dempier underscore home. Now our variable value is going to be where we've installed the Dempier. So to be 100% safe, I'm going to open this up. And you can see I'm actually already here. So I've installed the Dempier here. This is where I've dragged that folder in. I can click here, right click, copy, go back, right click, paste, click OK. All right. And the next one I want to do is Java Home. So I do Java underscore, underscore home and the same thing. Now this one you have to, again, be very, very careful. What you want to do is you want to go to back to your folder. You want to go exactly to where it's at. Now I said you depends where you download it at, but I put mine in program files under Java. Okay, there's my Java JDK. So once I get here, once I see my bin, this is what I've used as reference. Once I see my bin folder, I go ahead and click the top, right click, copy, go back, and right click, paste. All right. So we've done a demp here, we've done Java. The last one we want to do is Postgres home. Now I go to and I name the variable name Postgres underscore home. Same thing. Go there. Go back to program files. Postgres 1.5 where I see my bin folder. Right click copy. Right click paste. Okay. All right. Now that I've created three different system variables, I have to add them to my path. This is very important. You have to add them to your path. So you click your path. Your path is very, very long. Be very careful with this. What I would do is I would copy this, open up Notepad. You can see, I already had pasted it here. Paste it. And then go back in. And at the end of this line, what you want to do, as I've done here, you semicolon at the end of it, you put in the address, and you uh, add the last slash bin, and then the, again, program files Postgres. So I've done it for Java and for Postgres, and I do it, it's for MATLAB. I did it for uh, a Dempier. I guess it's just Java and Postgres. I'm sorry. And for Java and Postgres. And now that I've installed it there, I can go ahead and copy this whole thing and paste it right back into here. All right. Be very careful you don't change anything in here other than what you want to add. So you're adding just on the end, you're adding your two things. So once you've done that, you can click OK. OK. And let's go ahead and let's start up Postgres. Now Postgres is going to be, you're going to find it under your apps. Postgres is here. PG Admin 3. Now I believe it's going to add you to add a, you're going to have to add your different variables underneath here, like your username and password. <clears throat> You want to make sure that your port is 5432 when you do this, and your host name is going to be localhost. Uh, you'll be creating databases. The database you'll be creating is probably the Dempier database, is what we'll show you how to do. So make sure that your password, you can remember it. Honestly, I just did my password as, uh, I think Postgres is what I did to do it. Something very simple, something very easy that you can use and you can remember it. So, once you